so this is actually the biggest bird's nest in uh, the Coverly here. The, what happened is uh, the bird went through the plastic and then actually started filling up the whole cavity up there uh, with a nest. And it's actually, it wasn't too bad to repair it. You know, first uh, I had to reach in and take out the nest, which I wasn't even really able to take it all out. And, uh, and then pick you up here. And then after you get the nest out, you gotta repair the flex pipe. I mean, metal pipe would be better. If they would have used metal pipe, it wouldn't have, the bird wouldn't have chewed through the flex pipe in the first place. But let me show you here. I'm cutting the pipe. I cleaned this one from the outside. So, here's what we got. Okay, so I couldn't even reach back and get all of the nest, but basically the birds were making this whole joist into a big party, you know, for many years, and because uh, it was more than one season of bird nest. And then, uh, so they, you know, they ran steel pipe most of the way, and then the last little piece is flex, which is easy to do. You just do it through the hole, change out. Uh, you see, I got a clamp in there holding the new flex on because I can't do metal because uh, I won't be able to seal it and uh, and so um, I have to do drywall you know because you got to reach around with tape but uh, if the problem is the bird made the problem made the hole the bird actually used his beak and he cut right through the plastic and uh, so as long as these dryer vents have cages over them to keep the birds out it'll be fine it won't be a problem this one was real obvious because of the poop on the wall and um, I think I should do an inspection of all the vents at Decoverly and the ones that have poop, uh, see if there's still bird nest in them and then see if the, the vents are torn up. Because, uh, you know, there are some tricks to working up at this height and uh, you gotta have a ladder with a platform. Like, you know, what I have right here makes it real easy uh, to work. And, uh, you know, of course a tall ladder, you know, too, because it's pretty high up. And, uh, but it's easy to fix. After the dryer vent is fixed, it needs a bird cage. These are the best uh, bird cages because the holes are about a half inch and the lint, uh, it's big enough where the lint can blow through. And uh, these are also acceptable, but notice this is for a bathroom, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm seeing this on the dryer vents also. The area is quite a bit smaller, so it can clog up. And I do see these clog up, but on the Diamond Cove, this is half inch squares. On Diamond Cove they're used quarter inch squares which will definitely clog up on the dryers. And, uh, and so the best is to go to these, which I recommend for all the dryers out of Decoverly. Is that, uh, you know, obviously it keeps the birds out and, uh, and it doesn't clog up. If it clogs up on the bottom, it can still work on the sides and also a little bit on the top there. I mean, it would take like 10 years uh, for that to clog up. Well, here we go, the biggest bird's nest so far in the dryer vent out of Decoverly. That's a big bird's nest. Actually, it's probably like a new nest every year for 10 years. <laughs>